Chief Minister Congress Sangma has dismissed reports that the Congress under the leadership of new MPCC President Vincent Pala has reached out to the NPP for a possible alliance for 2023 Assembly elections. Well, uh, responding to a query, Sangma said that there has been no communication whatsoever between the NPP and the Congress and the party is happy with the current MDA alliance and the NPP is committed to the coalition partners. Well, uh, when asked if there is a possibility of any sort of understanding uh, with the Congress, Sangma said it is too early to comment on that. There have been reports that NPP will work with Congress in the next election. How far is this true, sir? No, there's no discussion at, at all in this line. And um, uh, we are here as an MDA. We're working uh, very uh, aggressively to take the state forward. So there is no discussion, no issue, uh, no talks in this line at all. The election is very far away. It's not something that uh, one has discussed anything with anybody. But the talks that are coming in now um, is uh, baseless. We have not had any discussion with anybody in this line. Uh, right now, we are happy where we are, the way we are working. Our, um, uh, the coalition partners who are with the MDA here have shown full commitment and loyalty. And uh, as the leading party, in the coalition, um, we are also very much committed to our coalition partners to ensure that we will complete our term. It may be mentioned that Congress Sangma's reaction comes amid reports that the MPCC under Vincent Pala is planning to work with the NPP in 2023. Meanwhile, uh, speaking about insurgent activities in the state and the recent arrest of a social activist who was allegedly trying to float a new outfit, Chief Minister Sangma said that uh, while such instances do raise concern, the intelligence unit of the state police has done well over the months to keep a tab on insurgent movements. Uh, a social activist uh, has been arrested uh, for attempting to float a new militant outfit. outfit in the state. Is this a concern for your government, sir? See, uh, we have maintained from day one that uh, different, different kind of movements have been taking place. And obviously, uh, it is the intelligence network which has been working very aggressively to ensure that we keep a tab on all of this. So therefore, uh, when there are questions that are asked by the press or by public, that is there intelligence failure? So in these kind of situations, one doesn't realize that there is a very, very strong intelligence network, and that's why we're able to catch all of this. That's why the incidents that happened in Tikrikila was happened where we were able to pick up people, the way we were able to nap people who are entering with um, uh, ammunitions in Tura, the way we were able to uh, catch people who have gone for these trainings in different areas. So it is a concern, but the police are doing their job. The intelligence department is doing their job. They are watching uh, and making sure that uh, Anybody who's trying to cause any kind of uh, law and order situation uh, will not be left unpunished. So therefore, uh, it's a great work that the police is doing and uh, we must congratulate their work. But more needs to be done. And uh, as for your primary question of whether it's a matter of concern, then yes, obviously it's a matter of concern. We need to ensure that more and more monitoring needs to be done. But as I said, uh, the police is doing a very good job and that's the reason why we're able to keep things under control. While replying to a query on the continuation of Lakhman Rumi as the Home Minister, Sangma once again backed the state police force, saying that continuity is a must to ensure the cops deliver. No, as I said, uh, I have uh, you know, uh, looked at the entire situation in the state. I have looked at all the aspects. And uh, based on the overall situation in the particular sector, particular department, and the government as a whole, uh, I have taken the decision. Uh, with the point in view that, number one, that there should be overall uh, improvement in the delivery mechanism of each department. And at the same time, to ensure that uh, certain critical departments like Home Department all require the continuity also in it uh, and also require uh, a lot of focus uh, uh, in what is being done. And therefore, uh, keeping that in mind, the way the police department has been working is something uh, very challenging, but yet uh, they have been able to perform uh, positively to a large extent and therefore I felt that uh, the continuity is important to ensure that uh, we are able to uh, contain and uh, uh, the law and order situation and minimize any kind of uh, unforeseen uh, situations.